So let the one who thinks he stands be careful that he does not fall. The first epistle to the Corinthians, chapter 10, verse 12. It is a curious fact that there is such a thing as being proud of grace. A man may say, I have great faith, I shall not fall. Poor little faith may, but I never shall. Another says, I have fervent love, I can stand, there is no danger of my going astray. He who boasts of grace has little grace to boast of. Some who do this imagine that their graces could keep them, knowing not that the stream must flow constantly from the fountain head, or else the brook will run dry. Unless a continuous stream of oil comes to the lamp, though it may burn brightly today, it will smoke tomorrow and make a foul smell. Take heed that you do not glory in your graces, but let all your glorying and confidence be in Christ and his strength, for in this way only can you be kept from falling. Be much in prayer. Spend longer time in holy adoration. Read the scripture more earnestly and constantly. Watch your lives carefully. Live nearer to God. Take the best possible examples for your pattern. Let your conversation be redolent of heaven. Let your hearts be perfumed with affection for men's souls. And live your lives in such a way that men may, make, may take knowledge that you have been with Jesus, that you have learnt from him. And when that happy day shall come, when he whom you love shall say, Come higher, may it be your happiness to hear him say, You have fought a good fight, you have finished your course, and therefore there is laid up for you a crown of righteousness which will never fade away. O oh, brothers and sisters, with care and caution, go on, with holy fear and trembling, on, with faith and confidence in Jesus alone, and let your constant petition be, uphold me according to your word. He is able, and he is alone is able, to keep you from falling, to present you faultless before the presence of his glory, with exceeding joy. Amen.